there's a matte glass back in place of the colored glossy finish we've been accustomed to since the iPhone XR and its vibrant, colorful back. The iPhone 15 completely pivots on this design feature, opting for a much more subtle pastel finish. The colors, of which there are six to choose from, have been infused into the glass and the result is a very light shade of color, and I mean very light, almost non-existent. The aluminum frame, no titanium here, like on the Pro models, does have a stronger color presence, however, matching the color within the glass rear and complementing it beautifully. It's not just the softness and color that makes the iPhone 15 stand out though. Like the iPhone 15 Pro models, the rear of the iPhone 15 is almost soft to touch with a lovely smooth finish that makes this phone really rather delightful to hold. Trust me on this, the edges are also slightly contoured, removing the sharpness where the rear met the frame on the iPhone 14. Flip the iPhone 15 onto its silky soft mad back and you'll notice some big changes to the front. The bezels have reduced slightly, not as much as the iPhone 15 Pro, but enough to make a noticeable difference if you look close enough. You probably won't though, because it will be the lack of notch at the top of the display that will likely capture your attention first. 